Welcome to the show. Today my guest is Krista Hughes with Hughes Advocacy. Krista, you are a patient advocate, which is somewhat new in the South and especially in Alabama. Right. Can you tell me a little bit about what a patient advocate does? A client will call me and tell me what's going on, what their medical need is or their want, their goals, and then I spend a few minutes telling them my services and how I can use it to, you know, help them on this medical journey. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a partnership. And because I'm, I'm learning a lot about them through their medical records. And if it's something we agree upon, um, we then move forward with the process by getting all the legal paperwork, HIPAA forms filled out. And, you know, I tell all my clients, it's best to be proactive with your health, not reactive. I'm more proactive as I had a client a couple of weeks ago call me with a kidney stone and she was in severe pain. And prior to calling me, she had been taken to the, gone to the ER four times, so this would have been her fifth visit. And every time they just send her home with pain meds and said, you know, you'll be fine. You're, you're not really feeling this pain. It's, you know, where the stone is, you're fine. And mm -hmm. so when she called me, she was at her wits end and we got all the paperwork done and I told her, you know, go to the hospital, you need to get to the ER, take my HIPAA form with you so I can speak to them, you know, if you need me to. And they called me and said, they're about to dismiss her again, can you get down here? So I went down there and, you know, just from talking with them, with my, you know, work in the medical field, we got her scheduled for procedure first thing that morning, and she sent me a picture of this large kidney stone they pulled out of her kidney. So if she hadn't have reached out to me, she would have just been dismissed and dropped through the system with um, a procedure that she needed. So you were able to stand up and fight on her behalf for her. Right. And be her voice. Be her voice, mm -hmm. utilizing the terminology that you know right. and the, your clinical background to be an advocate for her. and Right. Kind of be a liaison. Right. Because doctors are amazing. I mean, you know, they're smarter than ever. The technology's there. They're so overwhelmed with administrative work, handling your electronic medical records. They're seeing more patients than they can imagine. And I'm just trying to bridge that gap. Um, someone had mentioned the other day that um, your relationship with your doctor should be like your husband and wife in sickness and in health. And they're trying to do the best they can. And my job is to be with my client and their patient outside of the four walls of the hospital, or their doctor's office, and do the medical journey with them. They can call me at any time, what they don't understand, or um, you know, help them coordinate the care or medication management. So I try to, you know, work as a liaison with the healthcare system as well as my client. So how do you get paid? Does this right with this? It's a new field, right? Yeah. So I do not work for any insurance company or hospital. I'm not affiliated with either, and um, clients pay me individually, and um, it's an hourly fee. And I offer a membership and a non-membership. Um, a, a membership is you have me forever. So you can call me at any time that you would like. A non-member is if you call me for the kidney stone, I address the kidney stone and the partnership's dissolved. Um, and we discuss pricing offline privately when the client calls. This change, um, you starting your business, uh, coming from the background that you were in, how have you seen it change yourself personally, just, just from a business standpoint and as, as a human being? Well, you know, I personally, when I go to the doctor, like everyone else, we get frustrated by what we see or waiting too long or am I really being heard or that doctor just got mad at me for um, asking too many questions or pushing back. And starting this, you know, I'm having conversations a, with clients and um, they're owning their health care. So I love seeing them be so excited about, well, I never thought of it this way. But also in the profession from the doctors, I was with a surgeon yesterday and she said, it's so nice, a breath of fresh air to hear that you're trying to help us out as well. And so what's changed me is I see that we all are recognizing the system is kind of off kilter and, um, you know, doctors are there for their patients and patients want to be healthy. And it's nice to see that everybody's an agreement and wants to just be healthy and take care of each other. Each person is has a meaningful life and purpose, right. and the doctors don't necessarily have the time to, to focus because they've got all these patients right. and, and they're you know going from point A to point B. So you are providing that service right. to 
bring the meaning together and right. put it together so they can move on and and then everybody's forward. back happy and healthy and that our goal to be healthy and live long thank you so much for being a voice for other people who may not can be a voice for themselves and educating us on what a patient advocate is and thank you for allowing me to be one of your first guests on this show you're welcome let us know what's next for you and what your next steps are for a meaningful life